driver causes a lot of friction and allows the vehicle to eventually reach its terminal velocity, basically. Uh, and then those parachutes are going to kick in. So there you have visual confirmation of the deployment of our drilled parachutes. This is the first of two parachute deployments. So those drogue chutes do the initial slowing and then they're ultimately going to pull out the four main parachutes responsible for really slowing the spacecraft down prior to that splashing. You can hear cheering here at SpaceX headquarters as the employees that have gathered around our mission control center are sharing the same view as you. Uh, what a gorgeous shot of Dragon coming back down. can't ask for a more picture-perfect <laughs> shot than that. And yes, all, all four shoots now deployed. It's going to continue to descend. It's going to continue to slow down and then ultimately splash down in the Atlantic there. We're now under a kilometer in altitude. Just about 750 meters to go. In case if you're just joining us, you can see on your screen there, Dragon re-entering, has just re-entered the Earth's atmosphere after departing from the International Space Station. We have a gorgeous shot of four healthy parachutes um, deployed and slowing the vehicle down as it is approaching the surface of the Atlantic Ocean uh, off the coast of Florida. And it's continuing to descend under those chutes. We just passed 500 meters. Everything continuing to look good via reports to all the flight control teams. Now we're at about 400 meters. And just passing 300 meters, continuing to descend. We might be right on time. We were planning on splashing down at about 5.45 a.m. Pacific, and we're getting real close to that bingo time. Just past 200 meters. And we have confirmation that Dragon is now under 100 meters, uh, is 100 meters above the, the surface of the ocean. So next up, spin, standing by for splashdown. Splashdown came right on time, 5.45 a.m. Pacific, 8.45 a.m. over on the East Coast. The teams that have been ready and waiting, they were staged just a few nautical miles away. They're going to start moving in now. You can see those two fast approach boats already speeding their way towards the capsule. Right now, we're just waiting for Dragon to lift up and out of the water and into the nest. And there it 
goes. <laughs> so there facing us is what we call the side hatch. And that is where, as Dan just mentioned, the astronauts would, if we had astronauts on board today, where they would be exiting. Um, the top hatch is what we use to connect to the ISS, and that is currently hidden underneath the nose cone. Um, but like we said, astronauts will be coming out of the side hatch. Um, yeah, and we got a beautiful shot there. Now the hydraulic lift is coming back uh, back towards us, um, and it is preparing to lower the Dragon capsule into its nest. Like we said, we are treating this demonstration mission um, with the recovery operations as if there were actual astronauts on board. Uh, and of course, before we were able, would be able to open the hatch, we would have to make sure that the spacecraft's cabin pressure is equalized with the outside environment before doing so. Uh, so once Dragon is seated, and you can hear some cheers behind me uh, as the remaining folks that we have here on the SpaceX team outside of Mission Control uh, are cheering with the placement of Dragon into the nest there, as you can see.